Hello, this is David Wormsey. In this video, I'm showing you how easy it is to create your own custom post type plugin with Taxonomy. And this is a standalone video, which may be useful for anyone in the WordPress community who doesn't know how to do this, but it is actually the second part in a series of videos I'm doing on creating a product site with Beaver Builder and Beaver Thema. So in the first video, I created a very simple mock-up site for my cupcakes and they had their own custom post type for products and I created that using a free plugin on the repository called custom post type UI and let's just take a look in the back end you can see it's created my own product section here and I also have my own taxonomy called types. Now, if you're not familiar with the term taxonomy, just think of categories and tags in posts because it's exactly the same thing. And in this case, I could have probably called it product category because it's actually using the category style. Let me just show you here. The difference between tags and categories are that the categories have a parent child relationship and they're slightly differently laid out in WordPress. So that's what I've done here. And I've used the custom post type UI plugin to create both of these. But on this site, it's very simple. If I just go back over here, the only thing that I was doing on this is having my own custom field of price over here which I'm not using a plugin for. So perhaps if I was doing something more advanced as I will be doing through this series, I might be using a plugin such as Pods, which creates custom post types for you and the taxonomies, but it also gives you some more advanced fields that you can use, but I'm not doing it in this case. So why not just create my own plugin rather than rely on this WordPress one? itself. So that's what I'm going to do on this. And I'm going to do it using a site that I mentioned in the first video, a wonderful site called Generate WP. And it has all of these generator tools for being able to create these custom post types and taxonomies. And it's just a case, once you know what you're doing with this, of copying and pasting the code that it gives you into a plugin which is so easy to set up so let me just go back over here so when i get this post published i'll add the video to it and you'll be able to uh, follow all the links from here um, let me just quickly cover what i've put here the reasons for probably wanting to do this is that it's going to be a lightweight option with your own plugin of course it's going to keep others from breaking things it's one less thing in the menu to confuse clients, I guess. It's going to be free of advertising, although to be fair to the custom post type UI plugin, it really doesn't have any. And it could just make you look cool, which is pretty good reason. I do continue to use the custom post type UI plugin anyway, because if I found that if I'm working with a client, the chances are that they might want to change some of the taxonomies they're using or things may change and we might need a new custom post type so I can do it on the fly but there's nothing to stop you then removing it as I'm going to do now replacing it with your own plugins which is probably what I should start to do more often okay so let me move on the first thing that we need to do it's really simple to set up a plugin we just need to create a folder I don't think it matters particularly what you call that folder and then we need to enter a text file that has the extension of PHP so let me just go over to my desktop and I've already done that so there's my folder and there is my file let's just open this file up I'm using notepad notepad plus plus but uh, that's because I'm a Windows user and that's free and it helps you to see the code better by coloring things in but you could use really anything as long as it's a plain text editor so all we need is we need the opening and closing PHP tags here and then we just need this information in comments here to tell WordPress that this is a plugin now the only bits of information you probably would need are these first two lines with the plugin name uh, I've added in the version number and the author all for sort of vanity really and the license as well but if you want to keep it simple maybe just add these one point to mention on this is you want to try and keep the name of your PHP file unique because I believe and this may be only true if you add the version number that if it's gonna match something that's on the WordPress repository already, it's going to try and update your plugin with somebody else's plugin. So you probably want to keep something 
unique there. So all we're going to do now is to copy and paste just here the information that we're going to get from Generate WP. So let's go back to the browser and I've set up an account yesterday, so I'm going to use what I've got already. If you go through some of these, they've got some options with some setup, including products already. I needed to change it because I actually use, let's just go back to my site, instead of using product here as my URL, I use products, plural. So I had to change from the defaults that are in the generator that's here. So let me just go to my account. You can set up account, it's free, so you can add in your own snippets. Uh, there are some paid versions where you can do more, but uh, I'm going to give you the links to these so you can just grab my code. Let's go over to the product CPT first, and I'm going to go into edit mode, which is going to show you exactly the same view you would have if you clicked from the front end here. So this is what we get. It pre-fills things, as you can see, there we are, products. It pre-fills things in and gives you the kind of function name that you might need here. You can also add it to a child theme, but it gives a different code for that, But so we'll leave that as none. I'm just going to skip through these. The most important thing here was this one, which is the post key, the post type key, which if you remember, I needed to change to products because the default was product in this case. And I also needed to make sure that I'm going to link this to the taxonomy that I'm going to create or have created here called type. Now, I think when you go to the generator, by default, it adds in categories here. So you could be linked up to the WordPress categories and tags as well. But in this case, I don't want to share this type. I only want it to be assigned to my products here. Let's go over the labels. This does all of the things that you need for your menu labeling. So it you know, adds capitals when it needs to be and adds plurals when it needs to be there. And this is one of the key ones as well, what we want to add that's in WordPress already. So I've gone for title, content, content excerpt, featured image. I wanted revisions and obviously my custom fields over here. If we go back to my product, you'll see all of that. So that's my title. There's my content, my featured image, which I'm using, my custom field excerpt, which I always have difficulty saying for some reason. Okay, let's go back. So that's all in there. I didn't bother with the rest, comments and author and all of that, but you might choose to have that. Uh, visibility, I'm going to leave these as the defaults. One thing I did need to change here was the little icon that we have. So if we have a look over here, we see we've got this cart icon there. If I go back here, you'll see you can just click on that and it will open up the dash icons that you've got with WordPress here. And you can just select whichever one you want to have, copy that name over to here. And that's what you're going to get. Everything else, I think I've left the same. So it's going to, uh, the, yeah, let me just have a look. The permalinks on there is to my post type. So is it saying it will go to, for example, product and I changed mine to product. So we leave that as it is. And yes, I've left everything else, but you can set, you know, uh, capabilities here as well. So that's all I needed. Let me go and take the code I've got here and copy that into our new plugin. So I need to make sure I've grabbed it all. So we'll copy, let's move this away, open this. We've got it placed in the right place. I'm going to drop this down ready for my taxonomy now. So let's go back to the browser and we'll head over to what I've saved here and we'll quickly go into the edit section again. There was not much to change here. I left with the defaults. You've got some that you can just activate here region. So I did that and changed everything to type instead of the region. And what do I need to show you here? Nothing. You can see it's the type taxonomy. Everything remains the same. The only thing I needed to do, obviously this is the important one, that that name is the same name that you've put in your custom post type, as I add, and the same here for linking. We need to make sure that this is linking to my post type of custom. Of course, I could have this taxonomy go forward to my posts as well by adding a comma and then putting in posts here as well. 
but I've not wanted to do that. And the rest is just the labels and the stuff that you've seen. I've left everything as defaults. So we shall grab this now, right to the bottom, copy that back to my plugin and we shall paste this and we'll save that. Now we should be good to go. All we need to do now is to zip this up. Now you probably have a different uh, plugin for this than I do, but I have this seven zip and I'm just going to add that to a zip. There we are. I've got my plugin. Right, we're in business. Let's go and see how this works. We'll go over to my site and we'll go into the plugins and we shall delete now and break the site momentarily. We'll deactivate it, in fact, the custom post type UI. Let's just see that that has actually broken things. Let's go over to just to refresh things. And if I try and go back to products now, it shouldn't allow me to do that. No, it's just making me stay on the home page. So it is broken at the moment. So let's go and fix it with my plugin. We're going to add new. And you can see it's already gone from here from the menu. Let's choose my plugin and install it. There we go. And let's have a look on here when we activate, it should appear. Okay, there we are. And with our types, and let's just check if it's working. Oops, over here. Now we should be able to see our products again. Yes, all is working again. And everything's the same as it was before. Now, if it doesn't work for you, um, you may need to go to settings and over to permalinks and then just to not change anything but just to save the changes here if we were proper developers i think we would have stuck in some flush to make sure that it flushes out anything in the database and resets everything but just doing this is enough so we don't need to add that code in so that is me done i hope this was useful to someone if you did like this and please give me a thumbs up because it encourages me and lets me know what's useful content for the future if you do like wordpress or beaver builder particularly then consider subscribing to my channel because i'll be doing more and more videos on that so thank you very much for listening to me and i hope to catch you again soon bye bye